Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's start this shit over, okay? Welcome to my channel, Virgo Witch Goddess. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time here, thank you for subscribing so much and thank you for hitting the like button. Appreciate all your feedback and your comments, okay? Today is Tuesday morning. It's about 4.30 a.m. Let's jump into this reading. Of course, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo. So let's try to get into this and start this over, okay? Because my camera stopped, so I do apologize about that, okay? So um, as I was saying before, um, Virgo, many you could be dealing with a cancer, okay? And some of you could be dealing with a, a fire sign who you view as a burden with this ten of wands. You do have that chariot card. That's why I said cancer. Some of you could be dealing with an older uh, king of coins, earth sign. Some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign with this page of cups, okay? Somebody might be trying to come in and make you an orphan. may not be much, okay? Other to you, you could be dealing with... um. Uh, a person who's a bit deceitful and selfish with this um five of swords air sign and some of you can have a uh with this fool of cards someone who's wanting to take a leap of faith fool of card uh normally represents ear don't have to be okay but some of you have somebody who might be thinking about wanting to take a leap of faith with you obviously you with this death card um i'm feeling as though with this death card some of you could have ended things with a scorpio okay um Oh, with this sword, some of you are trying to get yourself unstuck, untangled from dealing with this air sign, with this eight of swords, okay? Because some of you is like um a bit hesitant when it comes to this this uh this air sign, okay? And and you have reason to be because like what I'm picking up on is that for many of you, you can, for those of you who are dealing with this Libra, okay, and others of you, you could be a Cancer, like I said, because I'm picking up strong Libra, strong Cancer, okay. Some of you are dealing with somebody who has like a dark side and light side to them, where when they're out in public, they you know they appear to be very charismatic, very charming, very sweet, romantic, caring, and kind hearted, say all the right things. But then underneath this person, they have a very uh, dark, demonic spirit, okay? Type of person you can't trust, uh, you know, leaving alone by themselves, okay? So for some of you, you could be dealing with someone who could be a very bit, uh, a very, uh, could, you know, could be a bit of a crook, okay? This person could be very demonic. So my advice to you is please do not give this person a copy a uh, key to your house, okay? Please do not leave this person around your children, okay? Because for some of you, this person could be very, very demonic, okay? Not saying that, not putting anything bad on you or your kids, I'm just saying, heads up, don't leave your kids around this person and don't like, don't trust this person around your kids, okay? Because this person can have some type of uh, background where they might um have some sort of history of being a child pedophile, okay? Or this person may have an attraction to children, okay? So just be careful about that, okay? Do not leave this person around your kids. Don't give this person the key to your house. Um, You know, don't let your kids sit on this person's lap, you know what I'm saying? Um. And just be mindful because with this justice card, it's like some of you are trying to release the dark side where uh you could be dealing with your shadow self also where you're seeking balance, but then you got this dark side or this dark energy that's around you, okay? So you may have this dark energy that's around you that's draining you, okay? So you might want to remove that because it's like it's like tug of war where you're trying to go forward and the more you try to go forward, it's like something that's pulling you back, okay? And so like I said, some of you also have a water sign that's trying to uh come in and rush in okay it's going to be like a one night stand okay nothing serious okay obviously you with this hermit card virgo going within seeking answers from a higher source you know like just trying to think and you know um wanting spirit to show you a sign okay others of you dealing with a water sign who feel like they have uh you know choices where they could choose to be with who they want to be with okay others of you when it comes to this sagittarius okay um, the Sagittarius things could have blown out of proportion where things kind of fell apart where with this Sagittarius um, they might want to have a second chance with you or you could be dealing with a Leo who could be a bit out of control okay when it comes to this Sun card okay where a situation was out of control got blown out of proportion fell, you know this fell apart okay um, and like I said with this Knight of Wands again you have a fire sign who wanting to come in and rush in and have a one night stand with you nothing serious Queen of Swords, you're listening to your logic where, you, you know, you're, you're listening to what your intuition is trying to tell you, okay? So, again, be careful when it comes to this Libra or this Cancer. Don't leave this Libra or this Cancer around your kids or, leave, you know, leave them around in your house by themselves. Don't get them a copy of your key. This person can't be trusted for some reason. This Libra or this Cancer is what I'm picking up on, okay? Every dog's the mind is spirit, okay, is what I'm picking up on. 
And so many of you may have to um, get ready to surrender to a situation, okay? Some of you may want to get some cameras in your house, too, because I don't like the energy I'm picking up on with this person. Like I said, they do have a demonic spirit where on the outside, they might appear to be nice and all this and that. But underneath all that, they, they're a complete different other individual, okay? And some of you with this star card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. It don't have to be. It could be that some of you may be in denial about a situation when it comes to dealing with this uh, Libra or Cancer. Or you could be in denial about dealing with an Aquarius, okay? don't have to be, okay? Um, Or some of you, you can have an Aquarius where they view you as being a wish fulfillment, okay? Or this Aquarius may uh, fantasize about you and have dreams about you, okay? Where they, you know, they fantasize and they have their dreams, sexual dreams about you, okay? Um, others of you, you may have an earth sign. Um, like I said, um, you may have an earth sign who uh going to come to you with their hand out wanting to borrow something. Um, this earth sign could be a bit um demanding and somewhat selfish too, okay? So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn who might pop up to your door and feel like you owed them something, you know what I'm saying? Well, they might just show up to your door and just be on some like bam type shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know you own them and you know what you is or something like that, you know. And so, you know, just be on the lookout for that, okay? Because you do got this uh knight of coins who's also wanting to rush them and having one night stand with you, nothing serious, okay? Others of you, you could be dealing with an older water sign or you may meet an older water sign, okay? Some of you, you may uh fear as though you don't have enough, okay? Where you feel like you have to work hard or you're trying to work towards something, so that you can have enough or spirit is saying that you already have what you need. So, you know, you may have to work on what you need. Okay. And learn, you know, and learn others of you, you may have choice. You may have a choice to make when it comes to this, uh, two of wands dealing with this fire sign, you know, um, you may have to choose, you know, whether or not you want to deal with this individual or not. Okay. Others of you with this judgment call, you may have someone who's trying to resist the urge of calling you, resisting the urge of wanting to, um, you know, reach out or whatever. Um, others of you, you could be feeling a bit defensive and on guard when it comes to this seven of wands, okay? Others of you, you can have a, um, a water sign who wishes to have a, a ten of cups with you. Again, because like I said, um, you do have this knight of cups who wants to come in and have a one night stand. So this person can have a, uh, wanting to come in and have like a, a knight of passion with you, okay? Others of you with the three of wands, you could be waiting for the right uh, moment to approach a situation or a person might be waiting for the right moment to approach you about a situation. Others of you, you have an ear sign of Page of Swords who's wanting to come in and make you an offer, okay? Be careful about that because, again, like I said, I don't I don't really feel comfortable about this um this ear sign. And it could be that this ear sign may have Cancer in their chart or Libra in their chart, or Libra in their chart okay? I'm not feeling really comfortable with that because I feel like this person could be a bit um charismatic, a bit charming, you know, put on, really know how to say all the right things, okay? But this person underneath is, like, really, really dark, okay? This person may have some issues that, you know, mind-wise, okay? Okay, this person, you know, like I said, could be the patient. You know, this person got something wrong with them that's not really stable. It doesn't sit well, okay? So just pay attention to that, okay? Look for the signs, okay? Others of you with this uh, three of coins, you could be making plans, working toward the future, okay? Where you're trying to work and just get your things together and, you know, get your priorities in order. Others of you, when it comes to this two of coins, you could be choosing uh, which type of career path you want to go moving forward, okay? Others of you with this eight of wands, you could be dealing with somebody who's not really wanting to make a real commitment to you, where this person could be of a distance from you or it could be a distant wall put up between you and this fire sign, where with this, again, knight of wands, person who wants to come in and have a one night stand, but they're not trying to commit to you. They just want to sleep with you, okay? Others of you, you have a water sign with this six of cups who can't get you up their mind, who's reminiscing about the past, the good times that you two shared, okay? Or it could be you that's reminiscing over the good times you shared because somebody has water in their chart. Okay. Others of you, you got your back turned to this water sign. Okay. It could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, because like I said, you did get that death card, which is a Scorpio when it comes to end of things. Okay. So some of you got this eight of cups where you're ready to uh, start a new connection and start a new journey elsewhere. So you're moving forward and you're not looking back. Okay. So, um, Virgo, this has pretty much been your reading here. Okay. For the, um, you know, these here, you know, last week and a half going into August, okay? So just keep in mind, all right? Because like I said, some of you are dealing with this um a cancer. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, others of you dealing with a Libra, okay? Some of you dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? 
But like I said, what I'm really, and be mindful that you got an earth sign who wants to show up and kind of be demanding and kind of be bossy and might want to pull up, you know, feeling like you owe them something. Okay. So they come in because they feel like you owe them something. They got the hand out, you know, it's like, give me, you better give me or something like that to that nature. So keep that in mind. Okay. All right, Virgo. So, you know, and if you need a private reading, please feel free to hit me up by email to book a private reading. Okay. And as always, I tell people when you email me for a reading, I need your birthday, date of birth, and a phone number to reach you by because all readings are done over the phone. Okay. As always, Virgos, one love. God bless. I'm out. Take care. It's been real. I love you guys.